What's going on guys, it's your boy Ethan. Hope you're having a great day, and this is Europe Edition. I'm in Paris right now, and we're playing some poker. I actually recorded a personal vlog that I am thinking about editing and posting. I'm on the fence about it, about going to Barcelona and Italy. Didn't record much in Paris, but if you wanna watch that, can you just let me know in the comments below? I'm feeling a little bit of less motivation to edit and put that one together, but I lost my luggage, and I showcased the adventures of going to Europe without a luggage. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to make that and I will, and I'll link it in the uh, in the personal vlog. But I'm in Paris, I'm playing a cash game, and a little bit of a warning. <sighs> Things didn't go great. This was actually the worst experience I've ever had playing poker in general, uh, which is really unfortunate, but I did want to showcase, it, sh showcase some transparency. Uh, it affects my play as a heads up, so something about in Paris, I, me and my friends went to play some cash games because, you know, in a new city, first time in Europe, and they just treated us pretty poorly. I got pretty upset. Uh, my friends got jumped on the wait list. You know, me, us, three of us were on the 10, 20 wait list back to back to back. Somehow, like an hour into waiting, my the friend that was number third got dropped down to like sixth for no reason. He got jumped in the line. We asked, hey, what the hell? They were like, nothing we can do. You just got jumped and like, it is what it is, so uh, I was pretty furious about that. They didn't treat us super well, and oh well. All of that led to a lot of freaking tilt while I'm playing this game. Also, the rake is insanely high. Uh, they take 100 euros basically every single hand. Um, they charge 20 euros per drink, and so I was a couple drinks in already. They are literally taking so many chips out of the pot in the middle. Um, overall experience is bad, but I'm showing you guys this video. It's a cash game. It gets wild. So giving you a warning that this video is not like the others. So I'm done talking. Um, yeah, I have a personal vlog coming if you want to see it. This video of cash games is a little bit ridiculous, but first time in Europe had to play some cash games here in Paris. <sighs> Good luck. Good luck to me. And let's get into the hands. I buy in for the maximum of 20,000 euro and let's get involved with the very first deal. I pick up ace king offsuit in the big blind and we're getting in here. There's a cutoff player who limps and then a button raised to 80. Certainly going to be putting in a three bet and we're getting involved immediately right off the bat. I three bet to 300. And when the cutoff limper gets out of the way, the button does end up making the call. So we're going to a flop of nine, four, six, two clubs. Here, this flop is, is not so great, to be quite honest with you. And I actually start off with a check on a flop that should favor my opponent more than me. And my opponent ends up checking this one back. And we're going to a turn, which comes a six. So board is paired. It's a card that now should favor me a little bit. All my over pairs should feel like the nuts. And I'm going to rep like I have one of those over pairs. I decide to fire out 800 euro and snippety snap my opponent ends up folding. So we get involved right off the bat winning over 300 euro in the very first hand. It's a good start and hopefully good things to come. And the next hand we get involved in, there's a 40 euro straddle on, and I pick up pocket nines in the hijack. There's a low jack player who opens it up to 120. Player to my right and looks like a recreational player. Seems like someone who would be raising a relatively narrow range. So I'd make the call, and our buddy Wolfgang in the small blind makes the call as well. So three ways to a flop of six, five, deuce, two diamonds. Another low flop here, but one that now should actually be better for me because I have an overpair, and my opponent ends up c-betting 100. Well, not gonna go anywhere. I make the call with my overpair that I think raising is a little bit of an overplay. So we're going heads up to a turn, which comes a seven. Improved to a gutter now as I have a straight draw along with it. And my opponent decides to blast out 600. 600 euro to go, and this is a really, really big bet. I'm kind of confused as to what to make of it. Honestly, I kind of thought about folding because I don't think my opponent's really going to be bluffing here too much, but, you know, we don't come to Paris to fold over pairs. I also have a straight draw to go along with that, so I'm going to make the call one more time, hoping my opponent can shut down on the river here. River comes the deuce of spades, and it's a complete brick here. My opponent thinks about it for a while and he ends up checking. Oh, thank goodness. I snap check this one back and my opponent shows ace king himself. And this pair of nines is going to win it. Very interesting for him to blast so much on a turn card like this. And luckily he didn't pull the trigger of going all in on the river because I probably would have folded. Anyways, we don't need to let our opponent know that. We're going to the next hand where I'm in the 40 euro straddle now with jack nine of spades. 
There's an early position player who limps, and my friend Steven raises to 160. Well, it seems like a fun hand to make the call with. He's on the button. I'm out of position. Let's battle against our buddy. I make the call, and the limper folds. So going heads up to a flop of 10, 10, 9, rainbow. I check it over to him with a pair, and he bets 100. Seems like a pretty easy decision to just come along and call, so I go do that. Turn comes the seven of diamonds now, which is very, very interesting. Brings in a backdoor flush draw. It does bring in some straight possibilities like jack eights. And, you know, jack nine looks awfully similar to jack eight. Would I want to lead out here? Do I want to check raise? Do I want to put my opponent in a tough spot? Not entirely sure, but I do go over my options and opted just for a check for now. My opponent now bets 400, which is spicy. Very interesting, and my opponent has about 1,200 behind. So I think I only have one of two options here, which is a check call or check jam. I guess I could fold sometimes, but it feels really, really wrong to fold a hand as strong as this. Ultimately, I ended up not going crazy and make the call. So now we're going to a river, which comes a king. Unimproved, sitting with just a pair of nines. I certainly don't think my hand is good in this spot, and action's going to go check, check, and he shows pocket queens. I call him a few names for checking this one back and not going for some thin value on the river, but he probably wasn't going to get paid anyways. Like I said, we've had a few drinks. We're having a good time, but a nice hand to Steven running into an over pair here. Jack nine's not going to win this one. All right, let's ramp up the action here. I don't think there's been enough big pots. We have ace jack offsuit in the cutoff with the straddle on. I open things up to 100 and I get our buddy Wolfgang in the big blind to make the call here. So going heads up against our friend, this time in position to a flop of king nine four two spades. My opponent checks it over to me here and with this board, I think I can go one of two options. I could certainly check or I can bet pretty big. And, you know, <laughs> given the environment we're in right now, I am on ultra aggressive mode. I bet big to 200, close to the size of the pot here, and my opponent makes the call. So we're going to a turn, which is a pretty good one in a 10. Pretty sick card. My opponent checks over to me here, and now once I see this turn card, Queen Jack is the nut straight. Lots of two pair hands could get there, and I have a pretty good bluff candidate, I think. With a gutter improved to a Broadway draw, I decided to go huge and bet 700. Overbetting the size of the pot here, and for 700, alarm bells starting to siren off because Wolfgang comes along for a call. So we've got a pretty big pot brewing, trying to spice up the action. We're going to a river, which is the six of clubs. My opponent checks it over to me, and I am just going to blast. There is no putting on the brakes here at this point. Ace jack off suit, the spades draw missed. I don't have any spades to unblock those draws. He would auto fold and I throw out one 5,000 euro chip, putting him all in. Looking at my buddy stack, he's got about 3,700 give or take. It's a really, really big bet. Honestly, once I threw out my chip in there and counted how much he had, probably bigger than I'd like it to be, but here we are. I'm basically repping the nuts or nothing here, and my opponent thinks for a while before sticking in a call. Always nice to double up your friends, right? I tell him my friend that he's good, and he shows king nine of clubs for flopping top two pair, and it's always nice to donate money to friends. GG's to Alex here. He's going to win this one, and yeah, just like that. Our first very significant part of the night, I'm punting and doubling up an opponent. Oh, the fun doesn't stop here because the next hand I pick up queen three of clubs. I decided to put in the 80 euro blind raise over the straddle because that's what you do when, uh, you know, things are not going your way. Put in the blind raise. Anyways, Steven, the big blind, our buddy, raises it up to 260. Two suited cards. I'm never folding. I make the call. We're going in position, and the flop comes king, four, five. Two diamonds in the club here. My opponent, Steven, starts off with a bet of 130, and you're probably thinking, how is this hand even significant? Well, you're going to find out, because I decided to raise to 400 with a few backdoor possibilities. I've got backdoor straight draws, backdoor flush draws. I'm in position. It's, 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 quite the, it's quite the stretch here to think that this is a good play, but whatever, we're gambling, went in Europe, and my opponent makes the call. So not loving it, but we're off to a turn, which is the Ace of Diamonds. Pretty interesting card here. Out of all the cards that I would have wanted to see that improves me, this one doesn't improve my specific hand, but 
maybe not a bad one. My opponent checks over to me here, and I think this is a pretty good bluff card to continue going out with. It's a little bit dicey because I don't have a diamond in my hand, but here we are. I'm gambling. I bet 400 here once again, you know, doing a little bit of a down bet or same bet thing going on in this turn. And, uh, you know, my opponent makes the call. Maybe maybe my friends are thinking I'm full of it today because I certainly am. Well, anyways, we're off to a river, which is a four. Board is paired, and I don't love the situation. My opponent checks one more time. I'm sitting with queen high and a dream. Let's just fire out some chips in the middle because I want to get folds. I throw out 1,200 euro, bluffing it off again. Ah, and, you know, my opponent's not going to be folding. This is Steven song that we're talking about here. He's too rich for this game. He ends up making the call, and I'm up against king, queen, off, suits. Pair of kings is going to win it. He also had a diamond in his hand. Pretty standard call by him. I'm running into it today, being an idiot, but at the very least, at least I'm giving my friends some money. All right, we're going to fast forward to one of the last hands of the night, and it's, it's quite the doozy. Uh, it started off late because my opponent, Steven, on the button, opens things up. I'm drunk, tilted, bored from all of the things that's been going on in this room and the treatment of the floor and staff and honestly, even some of the players. But here we are. I pick up pocket fours. It's our hands. I am all in. All in as in a total of over 8,000 euro. And Steven makes the call with pocket jacks. Yes, this is a 17, it's like 8,600 in a stack, 17, almost 18,000 euro pot. Why did I do this? Why am I playing a 400 big blind pot with pocket fours all in preflop? Because I am punting. Oh my God. Who would have thought I do not improve with the 20% chance to win this? I don't suck out. Jacks are going to hold. They're going to win, rightfully so. And I ship my friend 8,600 euro because I had a lapse of judgment and decided to punt it all off. So this is what you get for going off the rails. Sometimes it happens when you tilt a little too much and decided to just fire out a bunch of random ships in the middle and you run into a higher pocket pair. All right, you are currently seeing the worst side of me, the most tilted I've ever been. It's 1 a.m. I'm stuck like 20K Euro, which is more than 20K US. But there's a lot of things I'm upset about. And this is the downside of poker where you don't have self-control, where you don't just chill. I was upset about a lot of different things at this place. They treat my friends really, really poorly here. The rake's really high and the game's not good. But so sometimes you splash and this is the, the downside of poker, which I'll happily admit. I just took a walk from the table and just, maybe I need to reset because I'm down 20K in the 10-20 game, <laughs> which is so stupid but I wanna offer the full transparency. The good thing is that I doubled up my friends. Most of the biggest pots have been against my friends, Alex and Steven, and that is uh, at least a positive because they get to benefit from me being an absolute idiot and asshole. So that's all. Maybe uh, if you see any more hands, they're going to be more normal hands, but I don't know how long I'll be playing for, I don't know how long I'll be here for, but I will now chill, but we will see. You're welcome, you're welcome for the double up. I only got a thousand. You're welcome for the double up. Anyways, this is what's going on here. This guy made money, courtesy made, of me. I made a thousand, probably mostly off of you. I doubled up every single person on the table. There were no hands after that mid-session update because I played responsibly. And I didn't play any hands, actually, at all. End of the day, let's just go over the numbers because who cares. In for 47.4, out for 36.26. That's an L. It's a big L for the game, and it's uh, one that could have been fixed. But look, sometimes you get tilted. And sometimes you have a few drinks in and then you decide to shove 200 big lines with pocket fours. And it was the exact same suit so that, that I won the bracelet with. And you know, sometimes you gamble and sometimes you just get absolutely wrecked. So that's, the, that, that's, that's what happened today. You already heard my thoughts on the mid-session update. I mean, cash games in Europe, cash games in Paris, pretty rough. Like. Floors don't give a shit about you. They rake infinite money. Overall, pretty negative experience here, unfortunately. First time here playing in Paris. Uh, I had a fun time in Barcelona, but here, not so great because uh, floors is just rude. Player appreciation at an all time low here. The room is very nice, I'll give them that, but there's just nothing to give back to the players. If anything, they're taking everything away from the players. It's yeah. Sad. So if you're gonna come to Paris, just sightsee. Maybe play at some tournaments, because that's reasonable, but cash game's not the best. We'll see if I play any more cash later this week. I'll play some tournaments here at EPT. 
and I gotta make up 16k back. So that's it. It's a really bad one. Sometimes it happens. See ya.